band doesn't want me to give them an introduction, but I don't care. This is the best band ever, and I love them to ne No, wait, that was Itsuno at E3 yeah. doing the thing. Yeah, that could could destroy his career. Well, I mean, so it's 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 hilarious because it's the single, it's the point that we love the most, but also the possibly the most hilarious bit in the future. If somehow magically miraculously DMC Five turns out to be more than like mediocre, like if, if it turns out to be god awful abysmal, Capcom is now in the patchy spot. I see business. the video. It's like. This game will exceed all your expectations, and then it clips to like Dante talking to an NPC that's turned around with their face They're flying off. Taunt and... combos that drop you out of world was the one I liked. Oh god. The the idea of like that sta statement is maximum hubris because this is the most demanding genre of the most like What? <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Underwater controls. All right. Everyone take a good look at this shit. <laughs> the most demanding th uh, genre, and you're pro over-promising. Like, it it's the most insane thing. It will be the best game I have ever made. And it will exceed your expectations, people whose expectations are, are absurd. Unrealistic. They're, they're crazy, stupid expectations. Like, that feeling of holy shit we get from him saying that is also potentially... The catalyst for the future nightmares of his and the bane of his existence. If somehow oh, that why, amazing why game we've seen turns out to not be amazing. Well, to be fair, if, if, like because like that first level, there's combo videos already. Like there's yeah, people are doing to shit. To be fair, they did. Oh, what is taunt in this fucking game? I always forget. Uh, they did, in fact, win the best of show at Gamescom. But so what, hey. if, what if level two just becomes? The worst level of all time. Just vomit butt farts. What if what if level two just goes Who's taunt in this game? And like your 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 bullet shots that shoot up the screen and the broken glass. Holy shit, I forgot about this button. There's a map button. There's a fucking map button. And look at the the nonsense of all the different floors. What if in level two all those broken glass shard effects just land in a toilet bowl? And they, yeah. start, and they start sp spitting in a circle and going down. I daydream quite often about the game that hates the, its own audience. <laughs> like, I don't want it, right? Oh, fuck! This game hates you right now. Oh, this is the weirdest part. Why did they make it like this? Remember when they went back to this mode and they put this back in the other games? I want to point out that this that control is inverted <laughs> as well. Remember, it's not just like, oh. Remember when that great idea got brought back? It's kind of nutty because no. you know the way that stuff happens, and we like we talk about it these days because it's such a, it's such an, a, a quintessential bit of almost every classic PS2 thing. But it's like there's someone on the dev team that's kind of like, hey, I've been working on something different. Something fresh, a, a unique experience. I have a cool idea, you guys. You know, and like, it would be really not hard to make. In fact, we've already got it going. The controls already work in our engine. Yeah, really? And it's just like, do you want to switch the game style up completely? Because variety is good and fun to play. Variety players. is good and fun to do. And drop a completely different genre on people. Glad you could smash these. Which though. a lot of the times is a great idea. A very good idea, very fun to play. <sighs> oh no! So, it's the worst part of the DMC one. So here's where. Oh, hello. You look bad. Here's uh, my my theory. I don't. I have no proof of this, but I have a if feeling. No thoughts that are confirmed, that only from you. My feelings are that no one had to tell them how bad that was. They simply just knew, and they were so so shook that they never went back to it. But then Bayo underwater in Bayo two is the first time they're like, okay, we can go back underwater and we can make it work this time. Yeah, because they just don't change any of the controls whatsoever. They just make you float around a lot because you oh, already had God. space levels. It's a needle gun. It's only worthwhile to use underwater. By the way, uh, I don't know if you caught it, but these uh, 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 these guys can be instant killed as well. Yes. Also, God, there was the shadows can also be instant killed. Yeah. Holy shit, are we learning stuff? Yeah. So I, I, you know, there's something to be said about there's a really specific Venn diagram cross-section of a game like this, where it's, yeah, we know pretty well, but we're not big experts. 
How the fuck do I fire the gun? But we, but we know where those expert videos are on YouTube. Right. Yes, and we've heard of them. So, oh my god, this is so fucking bad. Um, I forgot. So it's like I Bravo. we we have the continue we have the combination of the thread that made me so happy, which is so I started playing DMC and holy shit, how is Pat of all people making it look easy? And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we have you idiots don't know shit. Check this out. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did I get this far it's without knowing about the fucking insta kills? On uh, the shadows in particular, it's a win-win because you're like, oh shit, it's better than I thought it was. It would have made that that. Um, Super sick. It would have made that fight with three shadows on the secret mission a hell of a lot easier. I mean, fortunately, they're not the hardest enemy to fight, right? Yeah. Like you, the you want it up against the fucking the scissor fucks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like they- they're, they're only the hardest enemy to fight in that one secret mission. I guess, but I- but I- yeah, so I guess it was more just along the lines of like, those instant kill things were just not, uh, as obvious for those, en those enemies, but they absolutely did design Well, because they had the secret mission that forced you to do the secret kill on, uh, the scissor guys. Right. Therefore, tell- fucking- I'm ready to real- Fucking- Real high seas havoc over here. Oh, man. Why has there got to be a boat? You know why? Because it's a Resident Evil game, that's why. Um, they force you to do the insta-kill against the scissor guy, so you go, Oh! That's possible! But with the others, it's just, uh, in fact, come think of so it. So what it is- I guess the shadow mission afterwards with the three is supposed to teach you that as well. But it fails you out, and you don't get to fucking try the mission again. So we never, we never actually said what it was. So what you do against them is uh, when you knock them down because they have their shield, their armor up, they fall on their backs. And when they fall on their backs, you do an instant helm splitter. Woo, pop. There we go. There you go. You do an instant helm splitter. That one's weird, man. And, uh... Oh, it's the analog stick. How fucking odd. And when you helm split them, it's like... They die. It's the cinematic move to kill them with. Yeah. I think that's that's what it is, right? It's an action game. Oh, it's game. stylish. Ooh. That's what it is. You're playing an action game, and you're using action game rules. But there's a moment where you're like, you just did the most cinematic thing you could in that scenario, so we're rewarding you with an instant. So, for example, for the, uh, what do you call it? The Shadows, which is the Cat Boys, if you jump on them when they turn into their one spike and walk towards their core and fucking I jumped off for no reason, and then uh, shoot them, they immediately pop into the, the orb form. Because you're doing because the, you're, Oh, you landed? Oh my god, The most so stylish crazy. version of that, exactly. And I'm thinking of, um, uh, Griffith standing on the blade. You it's know? It's locked. I'm the ship that carries the wandering souls on the brink of the underworld. Protect the ship and you'll be given the fire of St. Elmo. Fire of St. Elmo? Oh no! Fuck. I- dude, duh. It's one of those days. I don't like the music associated with these guys. To be honest. It's fine, it's Devil May Cry. It's not lock and load. Or is it? No, it's not. Um, but uh yeah, you know that you know that Griffith standing on your sword yes. moment? It's that. Oh fuck. It's the epitome and I'm owning your shit. You hold your blade out and I have so much Yeah, balance. why not? But also your arm strength is so good. That it's very high quality that arm I, strength. That we're both just doing Cirque du Soleil shit in the sword battle. I did it. I protected the ship. And I'm gonna <sighs> God, gain safe Elmo's life, fire. Fucking sick. Second life bars are the worst. Oh, you're hating, huh? Oh, you're hating. Don't need participate. I don't know about that, <laughs> but because I love hating, but I think the fucking second health bar is great. Everyone. And it's a classic thing for this for this series. Three, I know for a fact, has two health bars. I don't. I don't feel. I don't more, know about four. I don't feel more powerful with the second. Why? Because it's like, oh, I'm almost out of health. No, wait, you had a whole extra bar. On, uh, to be honest, it's just aesthetically unpleasing. It's really just. It's, well, I mean, we're talking about a PS1 you know. game in like fucking 2001. There's so many elements of this UI that are busted. Like the fact that this it, this well like when it, whenever when it gets to the idea of like how to show someone's more powerful, just put another one. I'm like ah, oh, I love it. That goes against every no, other. No, shut video up. Game that's the history. best. Or at the very least, not every other. I'm sure there's a, 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 a example out there, but 
Like, the, oh no, we blew up the, the majority of video games just are like not about that. Look at that giant boss life bar. Oh, it's great. That you could have easily had a leg that was oh, compar great. comparative to, but instead, no, we got to double it up over there. Oh no. There are many things in this fight I don't like, but that thing is the number one. Mm -hmm. You see, also predictably, um, we've been given the. The situational uses for uh, air raid and such. Oh, of course! Like air raid is actually really useful here. In this thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't personally care for it. I will say, a, a sign of a you know a good move list is generally when everyone argues about what's good or not. Exactly, because they've all had their asses saved by a handful of ones I've never touched. Yep, that works out, and I think that's part of the Souls games as well. Yep. Right? There you go. I'm a big fan of Ifrit. I love Ifrit. It's great. And I'm aware that traditionally it can be pronounced Ifrit. However, I was under the impression that if you wanted to pronounce it like that, you would use E's in it, because that's an alternate spelling. What do they say in the Final Fantasy? They don't. <laughs> None of the talking ones have ever said it by name. I don't fucking th I And I think they've been. If they have, they've been inconsistent. Hmm. Which is the curse. Nobody thought for a second that when, oh, Final Fantasy, oh, voice acting, oh, great, now we have the ability to solve all these problems, that some of the voice actors would be inconsistent, yeah. thus ruining the problem even more. It's Kamato. I just, uh, That is the worst. I, I, you know, friends and I have said Ifrit for years, so I'm just gonna so keep too bad to say that. that. Too bad, universe. Well, Ifrit probably just sounds weirder. I don't know. Sounds God, I hate that fucking thing so much. It's there to, like, distract what? you from the fact that this isn't actually very well together put together. You know, the fight. fact- like, The first fight with, uh, with him is actually way better. Until really getting into LPs, I never quite would have had a thing where pronunciation of words would have been as important in any way, shape, or form, ultimately, because you're just communicating and getting the point across. No, you're not. But, 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 like, a lot of things just make people feel a certain way, and, and a lot of things make us feel a certain way. And, that, and it makes me kind of wonder, like, um what the rules generally are on what sounds better when it's emulating its original language versus what sounds better when it's emulating um, I had to, when we ang when we anglicize it. I depend I imagine that oftentimes it depends on whether or not the original language is pronounceable by your target audience. Yeah, I guess so. I think that has a lot to do with it, but clearly since you know we're from like Quebec and we live in Montreal, you know our phantom and by Phantom, I mean Griffin. There you go. There you go. Um, that was a little rougher than the earlier fight. Yeah, but you don't really... It's like a situational battle. You don't get a chance to really wail on it as much as you want. Yeah, he's not on the floor at any point. Um, but yeah, you know, so like you gotta have that, that weird thing of like... There's two choices for a lot of words in, in a given language, and when it, when a proper name comes up, you have to is make it, a call it, on whether that name should be said with an English accent. Is it Montreal as if not, or Montreal? As if you like say it like you're not trying, or say it like you're trying. Which is worse? You sound like a tryhard asshole, or do you sound inaccurate? Oh man, sound like a big tryhard every time, 100 percent of the time. Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuzis. See. That's where that's, you that's just where completely you give up. Yeah, that's where you win. That's why ma Macadamia is the awesome yeah. the best. Yeah, it's the only way. That's the, that is that is the ultimate win. Because nobody's uh What well, like what are you you're gonna call out <laughs> yes yes you are gonna call out the joke actually. It's a coward's way out. You don't have to get called out for trying to say Akatsuki or Akatsuki. I believe Kick 13 level two is gonna be my next one. But uh, it's good. This is a new world. I've never, I've never in my life thought I'd be thinking this much about how the. What do you mean new out. world? You've been doing this for like six years, seven I mean, years. Compared to be compared to prior to this, I never. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, like in life, and it just never was a thing. I, the enunciations were really came down to patois, and uh, yeah. my 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 family's island pronunciations of things, and I would laugh at that sometimes, you know. Ha ha, Grandpa, you talk weird. And she would say, "No, me don't." <laughs> I, my grandpa has a fucking thick ass Nova Scotian accent, almost Newfoundlander ish. Like, oh, oh God, how I I can't do any of it unless I say Lord Tundrin Jesus Jesus Christ, woman. <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. just full on I, maritimer. I feel like if I had an accent, like well, you do. Everyone does. I yes, but if I had a less common accent, 
I'd get away with more bullshit. But like, because my 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 accent is more common, it's definitely like, no, nah, you sound more like us. Therefore, you know, you should be, you should be on top of that. You should be on top of all of it. Well, luckily, we don't make mistakes on this fucking show. Never. I would never make a fucking mistake. Me, never, ever. Man, they bring it back to you, huh? So not only is there this one, there's a later section, and there's a secret mission. There's a I know there's a secret mission. I remember and that. And the secret mission I remember that. is yeah. just awful. It is real bad. By the way, you're getting style points for just shooting your bullets. Like up. huge style yeah, points. Yeah. Look at that big style. It's it's growing pains, man. So they want me to go back there where I came from so that I can leave the ship. <laughs> what well, other what if? Wow, that that effect doesn't hold up. The fucking light box that was shooting yeah. out of there. Can you think of any other genre establishing games that Included some bullshit that just never worked out that they pulled and got rid of. Well, the e an easier way to deal with this to think about what is a genre establishing game and did it have bullshit that they pulled out? Uh, I'm happy that Mega Man got rid of the password system. I think everyone is. Well, that was a limitation. That was a 100% limitation. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm happy that Castlevania got rid of its stupid levels. Ugh. Oh, you, you mean? <laughs> you, no, no, I don't mean that. I do not mean that. That is a joke. Shoutouts to that meme of the guy that kicks open his door and throw, kicks his hat and starts oh, trashing man. his room, and then he gets laughing about that shit last night. <laughs> he fucking levels up. Oh, that fucking <laughs> dog noise. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Symphony of the Night. I forgot how vivid. This is gonna make me sound like a fucking putz, but I forgot how vivid Symphony of the Night's soundscape was. Mm. Like, it has such a, like, really unique set of sound effects and music. I mean... And it sounds like a fucking PS1 game. But at the same time, it's beautiful. Well, yeah. And it, and it was beautiful in a way that, at least, well, to me at the time, was not, like, video game beautiful. It was just... Holy shit. How appropriate for a game called Symphony of the Night. By the way, that was the whole mission. There you go. That was the whole mission. That main menu is a great ex a great example, right? The main menu. Yeah! You are the best. Look at it. Look at you doing it. Um, you shot those bullets with needles. Smoking six style. Needles. I I uh yeah. I'm thinking the first two songs you get to hear, right? Are 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 um I believe bloody tears. No. Not bloody tears, but you get to hear um, the song that plays in the intro when it when you're um, Simon walking up the staircase to go fight Dracula. Hey, look, it's the easiest blue orb to find in the whole game. Out. And then you hear the the title the title um, uh, uh, like church choir mm. song, and those are both beautiful arrangements. That I find it set you up for wildly appropriate that we're blowing like five to ten minutes in the DMC one LP talking about Symphony of the Night because I actually felt by the way, I, yes, I am going back in here. I actually felt um, playing this game holy shit! Who needs Castlevania anymore? Like, that's a weird one. It's, the similarities to me are enormous. Okay, 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 okay. Like, the old, if Dante had a fucking whip this what? would be called okay, wait, Ca hold Castlevania. On. I just got reminded of a feeling, and I don't know if it, if, it, if it was just, like, me and people I know, or if everyone had it and eventually ditched it. But did you have that feeling when early 3D happened? Like, Mario 64 comes out, and you just go, 2D's done forever? No. You never had that? I did okay. not have that feeling. It ha I How do I get back into the captain's room? Ah, oh, there it is. Like, there was a briefest of brief I do windows remember people having it, Where though. you go, oh, NES to Super Nintendo, 16-bit... 8 to 16 to 32. Now we're looking at 3D, and this is just what is now. You know? Like, the, the, like there's no reason to go back from here. So I didn't have that thing because, like, oh, oh my god, this is the worst fucking secret mission ever. Um, I never had that feeling because um, I played some bad 3D games. Okay. <laughs> and therefore was yeah. like, 
But oh. I, but I, but I always I I guess the thought was kind of like yeah, but it's like just bad 2D games too, you know? Yeah. So uh, I it was really just look how fucking terrible. The one that always stands out to me personally is I uh, got Resident Evil 3 for Christmas, and I was playing. You know, your you, your parents let you play it on the big TV, the living room one, on Christmas. Or, or whatever, because the games will fuck the TV up, mm -hmm. or some other bullshit mm -hmm. that I you look back and like I'm never sure if they actually thought it or they, it was just an excuse to keep your shit off their TV. Mm -hmm. But I'm playing Resident Evil Three, and uh, my dad looks at it and goes, "I don't even know why they keep making these new video games. How could they be any better than this?" Because graphically, like RE Three was quite impressive for the time. And I went, oh, you don't even know, old man! Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of, like, looking at Mario 64 and Pilot Wings, right? And then seeing those early ass screenshots of, of uh, Zelda, right? When they yeah. were previewing uh, Ocarina before it came out and being like, yeah, this is the replacement, it's done. And I don't know why, like, there's no neat bow tie at the end of the story where I'm like and then this moment happened and I and I realized like it, like something just kicked in at some point and I went oh no no not at all actually this is just a different way to go with it and this is not at all a replacement for 2D um the th the closest feeling but, I, but I, I got to that was um Okami actually hmm. okay because Okami was the first game because of its art style and its quality and its controls and all that stuff. I looked at it, and it, particularly from a visual standpoint, and HDTVs didn't really exist at that point, or at least I didn't know about them. And I was like, I literally don't know what you can do from here. Right, okay. I can't think of a way to, to make, make this beautiful. game look better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you get prettier than Because this? adding more shit on the screen isn't going to do really it. Good. Yeah. And adding... Like, it looks yeah. perfect as is. And the answer to that is... The higher resolution and all that wow. shit. Uh, well, yes, but no. The answer, to, the real answer to that is, this is perfection of art style. Yeah, and the, of and, that particular art style. And you have to just pick another art style to tell a different type of story. Everyone has to stop. Um, I, I, so I, I remember, like, I had that moment, I had that thought, right? And then you, eventually, you, you realize, yeah, no, it's just a different way to go with your, your, your... Oh, yeah. Your, your gameplay design. And, um... Immediately following that realization came the uh, the first arguments with my cousin about how no 2D is still valid, and he'd be like, "What the fuck are you talking about? The new Madden is new 3D." Did you see that shit? Why would I go play the old? What? Oh, what are you stupid? Madden? What's the point of that? And I was like, "Yeah, okay, well, I sure, right? But also." There's, but there's, that's one, that's one type of game. You know what I mean? And, and it was just, it immediately was followed with the struggle of, no, it's new, it's pretty, it's shiny, and therefore, that's just better, and that's the end of the discussion. Dude, it is, it's, can you, look, look at Akira in Virtua Fighter. Holy shit, who needs Ryu? He's in 2D, that's stupid. Akira's just Ryu in 3D, look at it. And what I will say is that, that probably, was the moment I real like that I, I I realized this is gonna replace Sega versus Nintendo or, for a while or Sony versus Nintendo like the console war thing like it was all encompassing back in back in the day and like it still bit was a thing further beyond that but a new dynamic of it was um, are you do you like games to the point that you're noticing these bits and details or are you kind of just gonna go this genre or this this, this whole video game thing is for the latest hot new thing, and that's always what you should be playing, and anything that's not the latest hot new thing is pointless. You know? Well, that exists and that's, prior, but it was less well-defined. Because there was a point where I'm like, again, like, my cousin was just like, nah, like, I want to play this. Fuck. And that's the end of the thought, and it was like, well, There's something written. Fair, you know? And if it would be like, hey, man, I heard about, uh... I heard about the, the, uh, whatever, new Assassin's Creed came out or something. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, it's the, that series is not as great as it was back in the day. And he'd be like, oh, weird, weird, because, like, that shit was, like, all that mattered when it first came out. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, okay, well, like, you could go back and play the great ones that came right, like, two before this current shitty one. Yeah. He's like, go back? What? Why the fuck would I do that? 
I, I, he's like, but it looks so terrible now. And I'd be like, it, it, it's not. You can still. Some, so, okay, sometimes. You, you can still enjoy Ezio's adventure. Back, no, no. Well, you, you know, and it was like, oh, man, it's. Well, there, there is, there is currently, and it's goofy because, like, I, I am the guy with the, 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 the PC that I need to put the pieces in, and I love, I, I look at Digital Foundry like a Bible, and, you know, all that technical shit, right? And there is a large subset of people like me that take that to mean, well, I mean, after a game's like three weeks old, it just looks like shit. So it's done. It's the difference between a preference and mandatory. Yeah, and, and where also you have to be able to go back to something like this and go like, this was actually in like insane for the time it came out. Blew people's fucking minds. But if you write it off, that's just your loss, you know. It's go look at other games that came out in fucking two thousand one. It, it, there's there's not much else to be said about it. It's, it's wild, and and you know I mean it's it's a it's a, such an obvious like silly thing to even bring up in the sense that it's like yeah the same the same there's similar folks that are like fuck subtitled movies. It's like, oh, so, you mean like my dad? So you're like you you will <laughs> never watch a movie that's not in English, despite how amazing it might be. So my dad yeah it takes too much effort. My dad has okay. the most bizarre I guess. point of view on that. Ever. You'll never get to experience these great stories that you would probably love if you just accepted that hearing your language was, you know, not gonna happen for the story to be conveyed to you so, because not every story happens in your language. So get this. <laughs> Pops is a, uh, a good old Quebecer, but who speaks fluid English. Is that not a blue? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to figure out how to get to it. I can't quite remember this one. It's possible I actually need air hike to get it. Air hike's four thousand. You should start saving for air hike, because there's like been at least four times that you've met. Yeah, air hike would probably really help right here. Yeah, but but kick thirteen. I I tend to obsess over like uh, combat upgrades yeah, rather than spend traversal upgrades in this this type of game. Because I you know oh. it'd be really helpful if I could get up on top of that, you know, instead of just falling off like that. Oh, cool. See, look, look. You can get up there. You're not going to want to watch the Tales of the Borderlands LP, but... Oh, yeah? Spending currency is a... Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> is a thing. You spend currency in that game? Oh, you sure do. That's bizarre. Have you not... Oh, you haven't, you haven't touched it, eh? No, of course not. Who gives a fuck about the story in Borderlands? It's all about getting the bigger gun and making them grow up. Oh, you're stupid. Those, those, you're stupid. It's hilarious. You're stupid. Great. I'm glad we had this talk. Have you ever laughed at a movie? Of course. Okay, well then shut up, you're stupid. I have never laughed at Borderlands, because the humor is terrible. Well, the humor in the in Tales is, is apparently better than the... the, the that would be easy, material. honestly. Alright. Anthony Burst did not write a good script for two. I... Some people say that. I don't know. Damn it. This is very frustrating. Ah, yeah! Anyway. I just... I People that have played them ten, uh, are always writing on it about how um, the, the Tales script is, is funnier than the original game. I've actually also seen that. I'm just being shit. But, um... Meh. Meh. Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? You were talking about, uh, air hike and spending currency. Oh, fuck. I didn't want this. Fuck, that's the last thing I wanted. Yeah! Didn't need it. The nice thing about Proud Souls is that you can cash them back. Oh, dude, it's the best part. You can try before you buy. It was like it was the last great part of that system, where it's just like, what if this move sucks? What if? Or what if I don't integrate it properly? What if it's not working out for me? Right? It's not even what if the move sucks. It's what if I'm bad at the move. Secondhand combat skills. Oh, that is a different one. 